guys, my name is Kim and this is the very first upload here on my new Discount Dolly YouTube page. So you may know me from Instagram as Dollar Tree Dolly and this YouTube is basically just going to accompany my Instagram page. I'm going to do lots of Dollar Tree videos on here but I didn't want it to just limit it to that because I'm also going to be going to other stores doing like different shop with me's, discount grocery, basically anything like that. I'm also thinking of doing like little vlogs on here, different hauls and just anything like that. So I wanted to kind of have like a fresh start and see where I could take this because I had so much fun doing my Instagram page that I started last year and I just saw so much growth with that and then just building a fun community. So I wanted to try that on here as well because I just love making videos and I love YouTube so much. If you are new, welcome, and I just hope you will subscribe because I'm literally starting at zero and any help from you guys is so appreciated to kind of get me going here. And we are starting out with a fun Dollar Tree haul. So I have so much fun stuff to share with you guys, lots of spring stuff. We have some home, we have some beauty, a little bit of everything thrown in here and everything is just so cute. So if you love Dollar Tree and you love good deals, discounts, then you will really like my channel. So just keep watching if you want to find out what I got at Dollar Tree recently and let's get on into it. <laughs> story you're probably like why do you have a box um the girl at dollar tree who rung me up they had no bags left she told me so she's like do you want a box and i was like sure i'll take a box this is what we're working with today so the first thing that i will show you guys i got this really adorable summer mug that says tropical life and i loved this because it was so like holographic and rainbowy and i just loved how it was printed on there so I was thinking also that I could take off the top if I wanted to and just use it as a regular cup or um, you can use this for your coffee or your hot chocolate or your tea and I just thought it was so stinking cute. I'm like running out of room to put cups though like I literally am at my cup limit you guys but Dollar Tree just keeps making the cutest little things like this. And I could not resist because I love summer. It's like my favorite season. So I had to get this. They have a couple different designs. They are so cute. This one was my favorite. I literally just found that the other day. So those are like brand new. This is another favorite find. This sign, it says Fresh Flower Market. And how absolutely precious is this? I think this is going to look so cute in a kitchen. Or you can put it like by your garden. Only thing I will say is that like the edges i do see are coming up a little bit because i guess this is just like a sticker but i mean it's dollars but it's super cute still because it has this little uh burlap ribbon and i just loved the way that it looked it reminded me of something you would find at like joann's or hobby lobby so i have to find a place where i want to put this i'm obsessed i think it is so adorable so had another one it was like reap re weed it and reap or something but i like this one better they had lots of these really cute little like hanging signs so i got this one to do a diy so i don't plan on like hanging this up as is i really just wanted it for the farmer's market sign so if you don't want all this extra stuff while it is very cute it has these little leaves you could use this for another project you can just cut this off at the back here and just use the farmer's market sign or you can put it on something as a DIY if you want to do that. I thought it was so cute. It really goes nicely with the flower market sign. It's like kind of the same, uh, same material as that one. So I had to pick this up. They really did a great job with their like spring decor this year. I was not expecting them to get in stuff like this that was so nice looking. Here is another little home piece that was also very popular on my Instagram these adorable farmhouse milk jugs i love these i actually have a similar one that's like vintage that i got at a thrift store and it's in my kitchen so obviously this one's not vintage because it's from dollar tree but this one says farm sweet farm and i had wanted one of these so bad i had saw some people hauling them last year and i never found them and they had all the different varieties at my store so i picked up this one because the design was my favorite i also liked the one that said local and fresh so i'm thinking i can put this by like my tv stuff or um, i have like this little shelf that i want to decorate this is not intended for food so don't put any milk in this you guys it's literally just for decor but so stinking cute i feel like this will be $5 at Hobby Lobby or like Target.
This is so random, but I picked up a hole punch because I didn't have one. And these are really convenient if you are a Cricut user or a Silhouette user. I have a mini Silhouette and at Christmas time, I was making little gift tags and I literally had nothing to punch a hole with to thread ribbon or twine through. So I was like, you know what, I need a hole punch. And I was exchanging a couple things at Dollar Tree, so I just decided to pick one up to keep in my craft kit. I have a whole like craft bin, and this will just live in there if I ever need to punch a little tag or anything like that. It's just really useful to have one of these. It's very like heavy duty. This was something I had been looking for. This is the Compact Eyelash Curler from Dollar Tree Sassy and Cheek brand. So I had posted about this and I asked my followers on Instagram, like, what do you guys think of this eyelash curler? And everyone's like, it's so good. And I was like, oh, okay, I have to try it now because why not? It took me a few stores to find this. And at first I was like, it's so small. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I'm definitely going to try it out and see. I love eyelash curlers. I think they make a huge difference in your makeup game and your eyelash game. So it also comes with a replacement pad, which is really cool. Oh yeah, I see it. It's right in the bottom because... Their OG curler that I love, there's no replacement pad with that one. So it's really nice that this includes one for when it gets worn out. So I will let you guys know what I think of this. Maybe I'll do like a little mini tutorial with it on my Instagram. So LA Colors, LA Colors came out with lip liners and I could not be more excited because I'm a huge lip liner junkie. And whenever I'm doing like a Dollar Tree lip tutorial, I usually use the Wet n Wild ones, which I love. But it's nice to have some other options so we have this shade here it's called a bear with me and this is more like a deeper brown nude and then this one is called totally pinkish which just like the name suggests it's more of a pink color so i think these are going to be really pretty to go with those nude lipsticks i shared in my first haul if you missed that that's on my kim nizolo makeup channel go check that one out i will link that down below in case you guys missed it but these are so pretty there's four of them in total there's also a peachy color as well so i just decided to start with these two and if i want the other two after i try these i'll go back and get them but i was like really excited when i saw the display for these they had one out um and i wasn't even gonna go in the store i was like they never have anything good there and then i went in and i found a couple cute things like this so sometimes the stores you don't love go in them because you might find something good in there it might just be like one or two things but it's something. I found two Flower Beauty lipsticks. So this one I had never seen before. It's called Set Me Freesia and it looked like a brown nude color, which I thought was really nice. Of course, I'm a huge nude lipstick junkie. So I had to get this. I also like that it's wrapped, like sealed, so no one can get in it or swatch it. So thank you to Flower and Dollar Tree for that. And then this one I got probably for a giveaway. This is called Cactus Flower and it's like a red orangey shade. Everyone on my Instagram loves when I give away Flower Beauty because I know it's harder for people to find. So whenever I see it, I always try and pick up a couple. One for me and then I'll do one for the giveaway. Sometimes like I will find flower and then sometimes I will not find any at all. And sometimes it'll be hidden. Like you have to kind of search through that bottom section of the makeup area like there's these little bins just search through and see what you can find love these lipsticks too they are very moisturizing and like have a really nice shine to them on the lips there is another product that people were freaking out over when i posted this is a five piece eye kit and this is by a brand called lux studio and i had never seen this before and even the girl at the register was like wait we sell that and i was like yeah and she was like wow she's like i work here and i've never seen that so you get a tweezer you get a eyelash comb brush and separator you get an eyelash curler which is a really pretty curler you get a little makeup bag and you get a gold mirror how crazy is that i thought this would be the perfect gift for someone and it is rose gold so really pretty colors and everything looks to be i mean pretty good quality the tweezers look pretty decent the thing i was most excited about was the eyelash curler because it looked really nice so hopefully you guys can find this um it says it's manufactured for pacific world in california yeah i looked it up online the only place i found it was at walmart and it said sold out but it said like five dollars but i didn't see any reviews or anything like that so 
I don't know if I will find more of these. There was only one when I went to the store. So I hope you guys score and can pick these up because these are pretty darn amazing. This would even be nice for like a bridesmaid's gift or just a gift for anyone for Christmas. So if you find these, stock up because I feel like anyone would love these and they're just presented really nicely too. So five pieces for a dollar, I mean, you can't beat that and they look pretty good quality. If you saw the first part of my haul, I got tons of the Ioni Marble Lashes. So I picked up this collection and this one is like, I guess a part of their new core line. So these are the Ioni 3D Foam Ink Lashes in Natural Light Wispy. And I'm just like kind of hoarding these lashes because they're harder to find. I have been finding them more recently, which is really nice. But I just want to have like a whole collection of them because they're my absolute favorite lashes in the whole world. They are so, so good. And they are much like a high-end lash. And they're very comfortable. So I thought this style was super duper pretty and just more like natural but also something you can just wear on like a day-to-day -day basis and it's not too much but it's also not too minimal like I don't like when the lash is too minimal because then you can't even see it on my eyes I have pretty big eyes so I need something that's not like crazy dramatic but not like too minimal so these I thought were the perfect in between I picked up this bolero banana and coconut milk facial serum I love these facial serums from Bolero. You guys, the ingredients on these are actually so good. The only thing is it does have fragrance in it, but I feel like I would say a majority of skincare products do have fragrance in them. But this one, it actually smells like banana, and I thought that was so cool. So if you're looking for a great, affordable skincare product, look no further than these guys right here. So this one has water, glycerin, squalane, which is a really good moisturizing ingredient for your skin. And the last two ingredients are banana fruit extract and coconut extract. If you guys don't know how ingredients work, basically the ingredients that are last on the list have the lowest concentration. The concentration in here is water and then the lowest are those two extracts. So it's usually how it goes. Usually the extracts are at the bottom of the list. Nevertheless, I am excited to try this out and see how it is. I love using these with my facial roller or my Dollar Tree Jade Roller at night. You pop this in the fridge and the Jade Roller and it is just so nice and it makes my skin look so refreshed and glowy in the morning. I have a bunch of other ones that are really nice too. They have a variety to choose from. Um, this one just caught my eye because it was <laughs> banana and I liked the squalene and the glycerin in here. Next thing I found is a hair product and this one I cannot wait to try. It is from L'Oreal. It's their air dry ruffled body mousse. So it says it's for a stronghold for waves and curls. So I have recently been getting more interested into like the wavy hair, curly girl hair method. I haven't tried it yet, but I do want to try it one time and see how it comes out because I do have a wave to my hair and I think it could be cool to kind of see it come to life. So a lot of girls use a mousse in their routine. So I thought this would be perfect for that. And this one has great reviews. I think even Kathleen Light had this in her favorites at one point. So this is actually an artist collaboration and she like designed the bottle. That's why it looks so pretty. It says your perfect blow dry style without the heat helps save hair from heat damage. Cause I guess when you put this in, you're not putting your hair with the blow dryer. You're just letting it dry, air dry, hence the name, air dry. It says enhance hair's natural shape without leaving residue behind. It's a lightweight foam to build body, enrich waves and curls. So I have not worn a mousse in my hair in I can't even tell you guys the last time. It must be like 10 years. So I want to try out this in my hair and see how it goes do a little like wavy girl hair method and they also had a dry shampoo i didn't pick that one up because i do have a couple already and that one didn't have the best reviews like it had some good reviews but then some people didn't like it you know how it goes everyone has different opinions so it's always hard you kind of have to just try it for yourself but i'll probably end up picking it up anyway and trying it to give you guys a review but so far i did get the mousse and a lot of people love this so we'll see hopefully you guys can find this too let me know if you found it or if you picked it up and tried it yet. Some people on my Instagram were saying that they loved it. Next up is such a cool find. I have been finding tons of items from Wet n Wild, specifically their Crystal Cavern collection from 2019, which when I looked that up, I was like, wait, that was from 2019? 
so crazy because I feel like that just came out. This is called Aura Booster Mist from that collection and it has this really pretty holographic bottle and um, I'm assuming this is a lot like their other setting sprays but the ingredients in here are water, glycerin, coconut, witch hazel, rose flower water, coconut fruit juice, camellia leaf extract, and lavender. I'm thinking that this is going to be really nice and moisturizing for the skin and just really set the makeup really nicely. I'm like, man, I should have picked up maybe two bottles, but I was like, no, don't be crazy. You don't need two bottles. Um, but the thing with Dollar Tree is sometimes you will find something and then you will never find it again, especially something like this will go really quickly. So I recommend going to your stores often and searching and you know, just making sure you see everything because I almost missed this. Like I didn't see it at first because there's so much stuff on makeup area. So I'm so happy I spotted this though because I love Wet n Wild products and I'm kind of a setting mist junkie. I love setting sprays. I think they just really and mesh everything together on your skin and just make your makeup look so much fresher and not as powdery. Also found the eyeshadow palettes, the little triangular ones from that Crystal Cavern collection. But I didn't pick any of those up because I wasn't like obsessed with the color schemes, but I'll probably end up picking up one anyway um, the next time I'm there. The last item, this was such a cool find. I found Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer. So this was like such an amazing find. I love this concealer. I actually own the one in light. Um, they didn't have that at my store. I know some people have been finding all the shades. But if I find that one, I'll probably get a backup. I did get bronze to do cream contouring. So I thought this was a crazy find. Um, I love Milani and I cannot believe this is showing up at Dollar Tree. These are still on their website for full price for $8.99, you guys. So here's what it looks like. And I'm not sure why this is at the stores, but I am not complaining. I wore mine yesterday because I was like, I want to try it out. I haven't worn it in so long and since I had seen it there. And I just loved the way it looked. It really did just give my under eyes a really nice brightening effect. So I figured, why not try this out for some contour, blend it out with a sponge. I've been really into cream contouring recently. It's like a really big trend right now. And I think it looks really nice to just lift the face. Definitely a favorite find and just crazy. Like we are finding the best stuff at Dollar Tree. So that is it you guys for my very first video here on the Discount Dolly YouTube channel. And I thought this was so much fun. I hope you guys like the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you picked up any of these items. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>